Booger, let's revisit this eye candy. And you, you look, you changed my mind. When I first saw this Odell Beckham painting uh, commission with him picking himself up, the Ram picking up the Brown, I was skeptical. But you changed my mind. You got me looking at art in a whole new way. What do you make of this? <laughs> Yeah, art is always in the eyes of the beholder. Now, th this is not the Mona Lisa or, or, or anything that we're going to hang in the huh. 16th chapel. Like, this is not that. <laughs> but what this is, this, this is so, this is so much irony, and there's so many words that I can use to describe this. You have OBJ, who came from New York to Cleveland, who fell down. You have OBJ that went to the Rams and won a Super Bowl. And now I'm going to go back in time, and I'm going to pick my brother up, and I'm going to bring you forward. Like, there's so many words you can use to describe this that if you put this on a wall at Ryan Smith's house, people will stop and just stare at it. And that's what you want from art. People to look, <laughs> congregate, and talk about it. See, I don't know if it would work if OBJ was on my wall like this, but maybe if it was me picking myself up in a, from a sports center suit to a get-up suit, maybe that would make a difference. I don't it know would be weird show. if you had a picture of you picking yourself up from a sports yeah. center set, Ryan. Yeah, it'd be weird. <laughs> It'd be very weird. All right, so let's get off the weirdness and go back to Odell. Jeremy, what are you hearing about OBJ and where it could end up this season? Yeah, Ryan, I'm hearing the Rams remain optimistic that Od Odell Beckham could re-sign with them. That's the hope. They've been keeping in contact with Beckham. But I'm also hearing that he's going to be patient. He's not going to be ready to play off that torn ACL and probably until October, maybe November. So he can actually sit back, wait, see what some contenders are doing going through training camp. And even in the regular season, if he wants to wait that long to see who needs wide receiver help. Green Bay Packers were involved with Beckham last season when he was a free agent. Could get involved again if they realize they need more help for Aaron Rodgers. All right, that could be, oh, wow, what a matchup that would be. Booger, which team should, try, should get Odell Beckham Jr., try to pick him up this season? Oh, 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 well, I mean, obviously, I, I can state the Packers and because of, of their lack of receiver depth, but any team that needs a wide receiver. I, I mean, Odell Beckham Jr., uh, especially for the stretch run, I, I think he's going to be healthy somewhere around late November, early December. Don't hold me that. I'm not trying to play a doctor on TV. But if you're <laughs> looking for a receiver that can give your team some juice, that can help your football team, that can be a playmaker, I think he and Chris Godwin are going to be in a very similar situation. Now, I know Godwin is under contract for Tampa. But if you think about players that are going to make an impact for a team come late November, early December, OBJ, Chris Godwin, we're going to forget about them. September and October and maybe November. But come December, those two guys are going to make a huge impact for their yeah. respective teams. And once again, Odell Beckham Jr. will be a lot of the talk if he waits that long towards the end of the season when teams are really trying to make that push. All right. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.